Holy crap. Hey, I've spent most of the day reading and been timing the thunder. So the last time I heard thunder was 19 minutes ago. I'm waiting for the last clap of thunder to be about a half hour away before, you know, I think about going. So I want to make sure that the storm's passed and not circling around. So the one thing I won't do is uh, sail in a thunderstorm if I can avoid it at all. You know, I had two to four foot waves yesterday and I believe it's three to five today with, uh, you know, the potential for seven. So, uh, you know, when you're making these decisions for yourself, I'd, I'd say just, you know, what are you capable of? What are you comfortable with? What can your boat handle? What experience do you have? What kind of backup plans do you have set in place as well? Anyway, it's going to be an interesting one. Hopefully the waves aren't too big on the other side. We were talking shop about Isle Royale and the winds and you know I said at the point that I'm coming up to it's really unpredictable that all these winds come together and it's just kind of a swirl of gusty wind over there. This is one of the four critical times on this trip. The first was the crossing from mainland to the island. The second was the northwest side of the island where uh, it's basically all cliff and there's nowhere to get off if needed. The third is right up here at the point uh, because, you know, especially on a day like today where I've kind of been on the lee and there's big waves and I'm talking over my, my head already. The fourth critical one is going from the island back to mainland. Yeah, so these waves, they kind of block out the horizon now. Look at that wave. Boy, that's a steep one. Oh, look at that one. Handled it like a champ. When you, uh, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. Oh, look at that sucker. These waves are literally probably, oh, 10 feet, I don't know, I mean, I feel like I'm climbing up them forever. Some of them you get in the trough and I lose wind from the sail. The wind is, or the wave is blocking some of it. Gotta keep ducking down, looking for shoals. <sighs> Trying to take some deep breaths and relax here. Let's go with it. Relaxed mind and body can certainly react better than a tense one. I got in here out of those waves and uh, turns out that I think I cut in a little too soon. So if I go that way, it's gonna take a long time. There's not much wind back here. But we know where there's wind out on the lake. So <laughs> there's a couple sets of islands here. I'm going to try to get out uh, one layer of island 
and the only way to do that here is by getting through this tiny little opening it's not very deep Obviously not going to work. I mean, I suppose I could go back out that way. I don't know if it's worth it though. That's those are enormous waves there, and there's some big rocks. So I need to go about a half mile before I get back in the big reliable wind and scoot down to camp. I still have about five and a half miles to go, and I need to get there. So. Uh, I'm going to give you a few tips about um, paddling your sunfish. So one thing is I have the tiller tamer on here and so I use that to kind of set a course. Keep your dagger board in. I'm going to drop the sail as well. I'll just kind of gather it up. Generally I'll tie it but Right now, I'm just going to leave it. So I get these, excuse me, get the halyards out of the way. Grab your paddles. Ideally a kayak paddle. The canoe paddle does work and that's what I generally use. I'm so frustrated right now. It's been just windy all day. And I, I realize I should be thankful for that, but then it's like, where the heck did it go? I'm out here in just big waves, you know, I, I guess I, I took a wrong turn and then, you know, I'm just stuck here bobbing around. There's no organized wind whatsoever. I, I have two and a half miles to go to get to a campsite. I mean, I guess I could go backwards, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense either. It's just frustrating, like, would I have been there if I just stayed in the big water? You know, should I have not made that call? I, I don't know. I just, I'm not getting anywhere doing this. It's, I mean, I got around safely and I'm thankful for that. It's just, uh, I just wanted to be at camp. I, I could have been there two hours ago if I stayed out in the big stuff. And I, I think it would have been fine. But, I don't know. So I figured out why I was frustrated and then I try to divide them between what's in my control and what's not in my control. It's not in my control, I really can't do anything about it. There's no wind, you know? Uh, so what's in my control was like eating, drinking, um, deciding to turn around and go the shortest route, figuring out a better, you know, more comfortable way to paddle. Uh, talking myself through just uh, sending a spot message a little later. And then it's feeling a lot better. Thank you, Jumar. Obviously, this won't work in all conditions, but where it's calm here, it seems a little easier than, at least easier on the butt than sitting down. Found some moose bones. <laughs> I, I believe this is a hip bone. And the femur. Just look at that thing, how big that is. Uh, I've read before at the International Wolf Center that wolves can bite through one of these things in three bites. It's insane. A sailboat just passed under motor, so <laughs> it's not a great sign. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about my decision not to wear my dry suit today. If it comes from the northwest, the wind, then it's going to be blocked by the island the whole time. It's not supposed to be southwest till this afternoon. And I'm planning to 
stop and go for a hike. Maybe there's a cave, there's uh, some Native American copper mines I'm hoping to check out. And so I'm planning to be out of the boat soon anyway. That doesn't really enter the equation much because, you know, safety first, not hiking or whatever. So uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's warmer today. And um, I put out my, my splash jacket. So that's readily accessible on top of one of the bags. And so if something happens, I can just throw that on if I'm getting cold. The whole day I'll be next to the island. And so I should be fine to have a bailout if needed. You know, I'm not going around like the point yesterday. Beautiful day on Isle Royale. There's a float plane that just took off from the island. It's Isle Royale float planes. They do flights out here every day. That'd be a cool way to go. If you want to see the island, you get out here by a plane. Keep that in mind. Nice calm day. Doesn't get me there fast, but at least it's relaxing. I'm hoping that works. <laughs> I uh, I don't have an anchor on this little thing, of course. Oh, it didn't. There's not big waves, but I don't want this thing to get beat up on the rocks either. The reason I stopped is there's supposed to be a cave over there. So I'd like to go run over and see if I can find it. I've obviously been spending a lot of time on the boat. So I was hoping to Go find something a little new. Uh, here's the trail. Like I said, it's supposed to be a cave in here. <laughs> 